I think of Concorde as a sharp nose, really narrow cockpit, really narrow cabin behind, and like a paper dart, a teeny little wing on the back. So at Duxford, when I was able to get up to that height, I was surprised by just how big the wing is. So I compared with an Airbus A220 which takes 135 passengers compared with 100 on Concorde and the wing is more than three times the area so it's 358 meters squared compared with 112. In terms of weight Concorde's heavy it's three times the weight of that Airbus so the Airbus is 63 tons this is 185 tons maximum takeoff weight half of that is fuel so it's 6,000 gallons in the Airbus, 30,000 gallons in Concorde, so five times the fuel load uh, for carrying 100 people across the Atlantic. So uh, there's the beginning and end of the economic argument for it.